Hey fam, welcome back to my channel. Thank you all so much for coming back. How is everybody doing? As uh, so for me, I'm fine. If you're coming by my channel for the first time, you're welcome as well. This is Virtual Grace. <laughs> Have you subscribed? I'm um, guessing the answer will be no. So please go ahead and click the subscribe button. And when you do, click the bell beside it. That way you'll be notified each time I upload new videos. Go ahead. Thank you. Thank you so much for subscribing. So from this story today is very interesting. It's a story about a very creative and innovative lady. I I came across her on Instagram and I just found her so fascinating. This lady uses food to create visual art. Art that is both entertaining and didactic in nature. Can you beat that? Food, like food we eat. That's what she uses. Take a look. Hi, my name is Hanifa Adam. I'm a visual artist and a lot of times I play with food. I'm going to be taking you behind the scenes on how I make some of my food portraits. I usually start by drawing a sketch. I draw it in a circular shape because that's usually the shape of the plate. Then I'm going to be doing hair this time around. Usually I just do turban. The reason why I sketch is so that I know where everything is going to be on the plate i then put on the features on the face and then label it with what i'm going to be drawing it with this is me making with swallow that's going to be the skin i put in a cling film so that i can preserve the freshness these are the other ingredients i'm going to be using for the illustration i go ahead and put on a lump of wheat on the plate and start molding it the face, the neck. This portrait makes use of the Apula trifecta, um, Ewedu, Begiri, and Red Steel. You know, the halo has been used in art for a very long time. It's usually a representation of a holy person, um, a spiritual character. I feel like we we'll have a form of spiritual connection to whatever it is, it can be religion, it can be nature. The, the red lip always connotes boldness and the radio was used to create a line drawing. Which brings all the elements together. I'm borrowing from fashion illustration for this figurative portrait of an African woman. I made it with beans, dodo, which is fried plantain, um, red pepper, and ugu leaf for garnish. I left the beans unmashed just so that it can give it an interesting texture. The highlight of the portrait is the gele, which speaks to an individual sense of um, style and expression, which is really not common these days because everybody ties gele in the same way. According to her, she wants to celebrate Nigerian food and to also tell stories, you know. So she uses these foods to tell stories that relate to the food. How interesting, how creative and innovative. And according to her, she started out just like having fun in the kitchen while cooking, you know. You know, women can sometimes be very spontaneous in the kitchen. So she was just doing this out of fun. And then one day she put something out there on Instagram and her, you know, followers were like, this is something you should really take seriously. You know, you are really creative. You see how surrounding yourself with the right people people who motivate and encourage you can help bring out the the gold the the talent and the skills in you just the way you my subscribers do so thank you i love you all so much the way you encourage me your comments and everything just keep me going <laughs> thank you so um she has actually won a food art competition with this same skill can you beat that 
something that started as just fun in the kitchen is you know becoming something serious like this pay attention to your your hobbies you never know that might just be the skill that you've been deposited with to make an impact in this world i'm talking about impact she uses this same skill now to um galvanize support and mobilize resources for impoverished um, communities in nigeria um one of which is this hi everyone my name is hanifa adam Join me in partnering with Humans of Owando in eradicating hunger in Nigeria one state at a time. One meal costs as little as 350 naira, and yet almost half of our population cannot afford to eat. Because I ate today, I just fed one by donating to TAP. I nominate Yemi Ajeojo to do the same. Kindly visit taptoreachall.org to donate to feed one for a week or a month or even a whole community and to kindly pay it forward so that one step at a time we can eliminate hunger in Nigeria. Thank you. According to Hanifa, you can use your skills and talents to impact the world positive and make yourself relevant and I agree with her 100%. Your skills and your talent are given to you so you can impact the world positively and make a change. And like I said, you never know what skill it might be. That hobby, that thing you do as a fun thing, might just be that skill or that talent you need to develop in order to impact society just as she's doing. And in fact, she used one of my um, favorite dishes because I love beans and the people around me know that. So she used a wagoi to create an art. And I mentioned that because a lot of you here know uh, knew me from the video collaboration I did with Wodemaya in which you know we, we did a story about a wagoin. Uh, one of my subscribers actually addresses me as a wagoin lady. He gets into my DM and is like a wagoin lady all the time, you know, when he wants to drop a message and all. So that's all good anyway. Here is the art. Here are more of her artworks. Hello, I'm back with another video and this will take you through how I use food as art and use it in a meal at the same time this time around i'm inspired by how the broccoli have clumps that reminds me of a thick afro making sure i'm working on a clean surface i start by making my portrait i'm making it a side profile so that i can show off angles and the facial structure This takes a while because there are many tweaks that will happen before. My name is Hanifa Adam. I'm a visual artist. I exhibited at Last Mara Art Fair and one of the arts I showed was a food art installation. I created a temporary portrait artwork on the ground using grains of millet, guinea corn and maize. I work to observe the ephemeral nature of food. There is value in making things that you can create and experience just in the moment, no matter how short the time is. Food is that way in the sense that you prepare and consume it in a limited period of time. And that's the way life really is most times. Some people walked over it without noticing or noticed halfway. Some people paused just at the edge when they noticed it. Younger people were willing to interact with the work while older people were more careful of the installation even though there were no signs saying not to do anything with it. That was the point. I wanted to see how the artwork looked at the beginning of the show and at the end of it. One of my earliest food memories was drinking pap on the weekends with Moi Moi or Akara. The first meal my baby was introduced to was also pap. I'm using the grains that are regularly used in making pap, such as um, okababa, red guinea corn with its white variant, white corn, there is also the yellow kind, jero, which is millet. And because Pap Ogi reminds me of mornings, I'm sharing this quote for the start of your day. Rise and shine. Thank you. Bye.
guys today is world jollof day and we are going to be celebrating with maggie's new signature jollof mix jollof rice is basically a national symbol by now and i've made art with jollof rice in the past i'll be creating two of my favorite emojis with jollof i know emojis are usually yellow but emojis are orange today because it's what jollof day so that's what we're going to be going with i'll be using red pepper for the hearts and eggplant which is my favorite dark vegetable for me to use to create futures happy world jollof day love maggie that's all i wanted to share with you in today's video um thank you so much for watching what do you think about hanifa her skills her artworks you know and this the moral behind the story generally drop your comments let's interact as usual <laughs> and share this video i mean it's innovative and creative isn't it we are talking about using food to create visual arts right so thank you all so much for watching if you've not subscribed don't forget to click the subscribe button and when you do click the bell beside it so you get notified each time i post Post new videos i will see you in my next video but until then remain safe healthy and below abiding bye Mwah.